Thanks for joining me here today. This is day one of our summer prep. Back in January, we did a really fun 30 days of yoga and I made it more challenging and a lot of you guys really enjoyed it. So this is what this is playing off of. This is going to be yoga. It will be some repetitiveness to it to get our muscles working and remembering what we're doing. There will be 28 total days. Each day will be focused on different parts of the body. Day seven will be a nice, relaxing, calming flow, whether it be yin or some kind of restorative, it will be stretchy. And one of the other days throughout the week will be stretchy. So there will be five workouts and two more stretchy, calming videos. I really hope that you guys enjoy these. Today, we are gonna start on our mats in a standing position. And all you'll need is a block if you like a block in half moon. Otherwise, you will not need any props. So go ahead and meet me on your mat in your most beautiful mountain, AKA Tadasana. So once we get here, we're gonna root down. So we're gonna pick those toes up, spread the toes wide and slow as we can. We're gonna lower them down. Nice bend in the knees, neutral pelvis here. Roll the shoulder blades down the back body, palms face forward. Gaze goes forward and maybe closing the eyes down here for just a moment. Becoming present into the here and the now. Big deep belly inhales and nice soft steady exhales. Maybe activating our Ujjayi breathing here with that slight restriction in the back of the throat, creating that ocean-like sound. We're just going to take one more round of breath here. And we're going to inhale those arms up and overhead. We're going to take a big sit back here. So we got a neutral pelvis. We can see the front big toes, beautiful chair pose, and back up to standing. Beautiful, inhale arms back up and overhead, and sit back in your chair. Big smiles on our faces. Maybe going a little deeper this time. Still being able to see the front toes. Breathe. We are not holding or clenching our breath throughout this practice. Inhale back to standing. Arms can come back down. Round of breath. Inhale those arms back up and overhead and take that seat again. Maybe put in the smile on the face this time. Making sure that pelvis is neutral. We're not dumping into the low back here. You can see the front toes. Inhale, come up. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Sit back, chair. Making sure our alignment is right. Feeling the heat already coming into the body, welcoming it in. And standing. Beautiful arms come down. Maybe taking that neck to both sides. Before we inhale those arms back up. And we sit back one more time here. In this way. <laughs> Breathing. Big deep inhales and exhales will get us through this practice. Exhale, we rise. Beautiful, we'll take a little shake out here, however it feels good for you. We are coming back to it, and this time we're gonna have a little fun and we're gonna hold it. We didn't do a lot of holding that time, we were just in and out, getting the body to say, okay, I know what we're doing now. So now let's try it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back. Making sure you can see those front big toes, neutral pelvis here. And we're breathing. 
Coming back all the way on the heels, picking up the toes, seeing how that feels. A little more activation in the legs there. Breathing, we are not holding or clenching, maybe coming up onto the toes, onto the tiptoes here. We got another 30 seconds. Big breaths. Shoulders are away from the ears. <laughs> we have them pulled up, but yet we have length and we have space here in this pose. Breathe. You got this. If you need to come back onto the heels, be my guest. We only got five more seconds here. Breathing and standing. Beautiful hands can come by the side. Let's go ahead and take those neck rolls now. Right ear, right shoulder. Chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Take the gaze all the way back. Left ear, left shoulder. Chin to chest. Right ear, right shoulder. Come back to center. We love the slow lowers and rises. All controlled muscles being done slowly, for me, builds way more muscle than if we sit here and do this fast. We're not about that fast life. We want to feel the motions. We want to feel the movements. So we're going to inhale the arms up and overhead. Find that gazing point in your halfway spot. So you don't want it up here and you don't want it down there. You kind of want it halfway. Come up onto those tiptoes. If you need to come closer to the wall or have a chair so you can rest one of your hands on for balance, be my guest. Otherwise, we're going to give it a go here and just slowly lower down into a squat position as slow as you can. And once you get their arms up overhead, we're going to stand up. So slow and controlled movements here. Beautiful. First one and done. Let's try again. Inhale, we come up onto the toes and slowly we lower with as much control as we can, using the toes to grip into the mat. Coming all the way down into our squat. Oh yeah. And slowly coming back up. Seeing how much control you can utilize on the coming back up. Whew. Okay, we're going to do that three more times. Inhale, arms up. Rise to the tiptoes. Slow lower. Breathing. When you get there, we're rising back up. Beautiful. Maybe taking the shoulder rolls there. Maybe shaking out through them hips. We don't got to power through this, you guys. Inhale up onto the tiptoes. Slow. How slow can we go? How slow can we go? We should play some music if it wasn't copyrighted. Woo! My legs are shaking and we rise. We only have one more time for this. Oh, yeah. Inhale those arms up, tip toes, slow as ever. This is the last one, so utilize it all here. I'm going to give you a little break after this one, slow as ever, and then try to come back up. <sighs> Beautiful. We're coming down for a standing forward fold. So bring in the feet about hip distance apart. We're just coming into a nice little rag doll here. Nice bend in the knees. We've worked the breath up. We've worked the blood. And now we are going to relish in this energy we've just built up before we move on. Nice big breaths here. Letting it go. My legs and my feet are already feeling this, and I hope yours are 
as well. You can grab opposite elbows. You can also grab your two-piece fingers with your big toes here, if that feels better for you. Maybe trying to straighten through the legs here to get into the hamstring. When we bend our knees, we're getting more into the low back. But it is leg day. So maybe straightening those legs and just seeing how those hamstrings are feeling. They should feel really nice after that workout we just gave them. And just allowing the breath to come back to its normal ebb and flow here. Beautiful. Hands can come to the mat. We're going to take a big step back with this left foot and we're going to pivot both of our feet. We're coming into a wide legged position and we're coming in for goddess. So go ahead and point those feet towards the outer corners of our mat. I don't have to perfectly be like that, but it feels good. And when it feels good, we're sitting down for goddess. If it feels good, you can bring your arms overhead or you can have them in cactus arms. Whatever feels best for you here. Making sure you can see those front big toes. Big smiles on our faces here. Big breaths. Making sure that the, the pelvis is neutral. We're not forward or backwards. We're right in this neutral position. Big smiles. Big breaths. Maybe come on up on the tiptoes of that right foot, seeing how that feels. Definitely going to feel different. Releasing it, maybe coming up on the tiptoes on the left. Feeling the shake. Releasing. Now, if you're going to try the tiptoes, let's bring them in just a little bit. And if you want to play with me, tiptoe it out. Mm hmm. It's way harder. And don't worry, if your legs are shaking, so are mine. It's leg day. Feel the burn. <laughs> Breathe. Clench those glutes and the thighs to help you out here. Exhale, fold. Oh, yes, yeah, so very nice. Even my ankles felt that love. Just coming into this forward fold here. Finding movement or stillness, whichever you prefer. Beautiful. We're coming into a yogi squat. So you might need to bring the toes in. He'll toe them in a little closer. And now we're going to come back up into our wide-legged forward fold. So we're going to do wide-legged forward fold down to yogi squat. So it may be a, a shorter wide leg than you're used to, but that's okay. And if you want to do a wider yogi squat, be my guest whenever your body's calling for it. On an inhale, we come up with those hips. Exhale, I come back down. Slowly here, we're feeling into the hips and the legs here. Inhale, up. And exhale, back down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Let's do that one more time. That feels good. Inhale, up. Exhale, back down. Use the elbows to push against the knees here. Hands at heart center. Big inhale and exhale here. Beautiful. Hands back to the mat. Go ahead and bring the feet together. We're going to turn the body and bring the hands to the front of the mat and have the feet back coming in for our downward dog. It's our first down dog of the day, so go ahead and enjoy it. Let's pedal those feet out, stretching into the hamstrings here. Breathing while we do this. Mm. 
maybe taking the ankles and giving them a roll. We just did a lot of work on those ankles and feet. But ankles and feet are included in legs. I've tried to keep the hips separate. I've tried to plan this out, right? <laughs> but I guess my right is different than everyone else's right. Anyways, left foot comes into the middle, right foot sweeps up, three leg dog. Roll it forward, step it in between the hands. We're gonna inhale, arms up and overhead, high lunge. Big breath. Big step up, coming into tree pose, using that left hand to guide that left foot into that right thigh. Or you can keep it on the right calf, hands come to heart center. Big smiles are on our faces here. Finding that dristy, not losing it. We're gonna release tree, big step back on a pivoted foot coming in warrior two. Hands parallel to the mat here, gazes towards that right hand. We have our block up here. We're coming in for the half moon pose. So if you wanna bring this foot in a little bit, you can have your block in front of your right foot. We're gonna come forward, half moon. If you don't want to use the block, be my guest. Wherever you are, we are digging into that right big toe here. If you want to take your gaze towards the ceiling, you can try that. And if you fall, that's okay too. The mat is here to catch you. Just coming back into it. Very nice. We are coming around for a pistol squat. Left hand, left foot, okay? So grab it. Whew, it's okay if it's a little uneasy. Look at your teacher falling all over the place. <laughs> Grabbing that foot and then slowly we lower. If you need to use this right hand to catch you, be my guest. Coming in for the pistol squat. And then sit back. Whew. Very nice. Let's do a twist here. So this right leg is up. We're going to hug it with the left arm, right hand up and overhead. Beautiful twist. Beautiful stretch in that outer IT band on that right side. Breathe. Beautiful, come back around. We're gonna take this right foot over this left leg. Hinge the hips forward, walk the upper body forward. Stretch this left leg here. Beautiful. On an inhale, we rise up. We're bringing this foot back to the mat. We're coming back through our pistol squat here. So the peace fingers are gonna be around this left big toe here. And you can use this right hand to prop yourself up here. You can even use the block if you need that help <laughs> to push you up into our yogi squat. I mean, our pistol squat, can't give me words right. And when it feels good, you're gonna stand all the way up. You hear my knees popping. Hand to knee pose here. I mean, hand to toe pose. And we're breathing. That right arm is wherever it feels good. You don't have to have that left knee straight. We've not done a huge amount of stretching, so. We're breathing. We're not holding and clenching the breath. We are allowing that prana to move. We're gonna release this hand to toe pose coming into standing split or Warrior three prep, whichever you like. This right leg is on fire.
and left mate's right foot. Coming back into our forward fold here. Let's take a rag doll with the, grabbing the opposite elbows here and just swaying left to right. Beautiful half lift, shoulders away from those ears. Exhale, we fold. Plant the hands and step the feet back, down dog. Go ahead and put that big smile on your face. Right foot walks into the middle, left foot sweeps up, three leg dog. Roll it forward, step it in between the hands. Rise up, high lunge here, arms up and overhead. Big smiles on our faces. Inhale, we're coming up, tree pose, using that right hand to place that right foot in that left thigh. Hands up and overhead. Beautiful yogi trees. Using that breath. Shoulders are away from the ears. And we're going to release tree coming in. Big step back here for warrior two. Pivoting on that back foot. Hands are parallel to the mat here. Big smiles on our faces. If you want to bring this block in front of this foot, we're coming up for half moon next. Beautiful. Let's come on in half moon. If you want to bring that left foot back a little bit, be my guest. And come forward. Breathing. Sending all the love to that left leg. Really rooting down to that left big toe. Big breath here. Very nice. We're coming around for our pistol. So go ahead and swing that leg back through. Catch it with that right hand. Using this left hand is a prop to get you down to the mat. Some days I can do this, but today it's not the day. Here we are in our pistol. Big smiles on our faces here. And then we're going to take a big sit back and let's take our twist. So we're going to hug this left knee with this right arm, left hand up and all the way overhead. Beautiful twist and a beautiful way to get into this left IT band. And we breathe here. Feeling that belly up against that left thigh. <sighs> Beautiful. Coming back around, taking this left leg over the right. We're going to hinge from the hips to come forward here. Sending love to this right leg. It's done some hard work for us today. Hard work's not over yet, but we are over halfway through, so we should be very proud of ourselves. <laughs> One more round of breath here. And we're going to bring this left foot back to the mat. Coming back through our pistol, we're going to grab this big toe with the peace fingers of the right hand. And let's come on up. Once again, if you want to use the block, you can. Otherwise, you can just use that left hand to bring you on up to our hand to toe pose. Left hand can be wherever it feels good. As long as you've got that gazing point in front of you, you should be okay. <laughs> Big smiles on our faces here. And slowly we're coming in for the warrior three prep or half splits, whatever feels nice for you in your body. One side's always gonna feel better than the other. 
big breath. And slowly we release. Let's fold over these legs. It's our last rag doll of this practice. Nice sway left or right. And slow as ever. We're lowering down and we're going to rock and roll. If you've been on the channel, you know, this is one of my favorite things to do. Spinal massage, playfulness, accepting of the inner child that won't go away. Oh, yes. One thing about this, these practices, I have picked a pose that we're going to do every day, probably even on rest days. And the main reason that I'm doing this is so that you can see your own progress through one single pose in a week. I think it's beneficial for us to notice our own growth within ourselves. And that's what I got a lot of from you guys from the 30 day challenge in January was that you really liked what you felt in your body. And so the first week's pick was boat to low boat. We're going to do this 10 times. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started this, five was enough for me. Don't push yourself too hard. If five's enough for you, do five. If you need to do five with your hands behind you, no one's judging you, okay? We are showing up and we are giving it our best shot and that's what matters. So, boat to low boat 10 times and then we get to come down on our mats, okay? So find your boat and let's go. Low boat, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, smiles, eight, nine, ten. Come on down. We're going to hold low boat for just five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Hug the knees in. Coming in for happy baby. So grabbing the outside edges of the feet. Pulling these legs down. Oh, yeah. Knees towards armpits here, just a general direction, of course. Oh, you should be so very proud of yourself. If it feels good, you can take a little rock left or right here, maybe bending and straightening through the legs, seeing what it feels like. Or finding stillness in your happy baby. Accepting where we are right here and right now. And while we are working out and toning the body, we need to be very mindful of the energy that we are creating and allowing in our space. And let's go ahead and hug these knees in. We're going to take the arm into a T and we're going to allow the legs to drop over towards the right. Gaze goes towards that left hand. Maybe bring in your right hand to that left knee. Making sure the shoulders are on the mat. And now back to center, 
The legs go over towards the left. Left hand comes to right knee. Right, we are gazing at that right hand, both shoulders on the mat. Now back to center. You can send the legs out long, tuck the shoulder blades. We're going to come in for a little Shavasana here. And while we're working out, this is still one of the most necessary parts. Allowing the body to understand and absorb all of that we just created. Noticing here what we're allowing. Wiggle in the fingers and the toes. Rolling on to one side into our fetal position. And before we meet in a comfy seat, if you want to stay in Shavasana, be my guest. Go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing in this time and space with me. And may you receive all the benefits of this practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this leg workout. And I hope you'll be back tomorrow for day number two.